In today's Python Pandas video, we're going to be covering how you can concatenate different data frames. Now, what concatenation allows you to do is essentially stack data frames, whether you want to do that by rows or columns. And I'll be showing you how to do this through multiple different examples, as well as a few different parameters. And if you come from a SQL background, a lot of this will look familiar if you are used to using a union. So with this out of the way, let's start coding in Python. All right, let's jump right into the code. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna import pandas as PD. So import pandas as PD. This will take a second to run uh, because I just started a brand new notebook. And while this takes a second to run, let you know, all the code in this video is gonna be linked down below in the description. It's gonna be found on our website. Historically, we haven't turned over videos into articles, um, but we're working on that right now. So all new videos will have an article on our website and we're going to work on a backlog of reproducing the code as well as text based off of the videos. So if you want to grab the code link down below. All right. So we imported in pandas as PD. What we're going to do first is create two different data frames because we're going to be stacking those uh, in the most common use case where we just stack on top of each other, kind of like a SQL union. So the data on the video is going to be based around running, which is one of my favorite hobbies. I actually like ultra running. So that's anything larger than a marathon. So we're going to have our first data frame over here as ultra runners. And we're going to put in a few famous ultra runners. So we'll have name, then we'll have over here, we'll have our country for the ultra runner. And then just like a major race that they participated in. So we'll have country like that, or not country, sorry, race like that. So major race. And let's populate these with a few different lists. So I may misspell a few of these names. I do apologize if I do. Uh, but first we're gonna put kind of like the goat of uh, mountain running, Killian Jornet. Then we're gonna have Courtney Dolwater. Courtney Dolwater. And then Jim Walmsley, who I thought uh, was gonna make the Olympic team a few years ago for the marathon, but uh, that did not happen. But he did still pretty good in the US trials. All right, now we're gonna have countries. So we have Jornet from Spain, and then our next two runners are USA based. So we'll have USA, All right? And then lastly, kind of major races. So up first, UTMB, which is an amazing race. It's like three countries up a mountain. It's a uh, UTMB. There we go. Then we have Dolwater ran Moab 240, 240 miles, something insane. Uh, and then kind of like the Boston Marathon of ultra running, which is Western States. So Western States, and it's a 100 miler, which uh, sounds a lot less than Moab, but it's still a very, very tough race. All right, so we have our ultra runners over here. What we're gonna do is now create our data frame based off of this dictionary. So I'll just say ultra runners data frame like this. This is PD uh, dot data frame. And then just pass in our ultra runners dictionary right over here. And uh, just do a quick head just to show you that this is working. Dot head and good. So that's working over here. Now we're gonna do marathon runners and a lot of this code's gonna be the same. So we're just gonna grab this. And again, if you just wanna copy from the website for this side of things, feel free to do so because um, don't wanna waste your time on there. But for those who wanna follow along and get some extra practice, here you go. All right, so we're gonna do marathon runners. We're gonna keep name, country, and major race the same. We're just gonna change the data that's inside over here. Um, we're gonna have also two USA runners, and then we're gonna just change up these races. So what we'll have up first over here is Kipchoge. Now Kipchoge is kind of the goat of marathons. So the first one to run a sub two marathon, although it wasn't technically sanctioned. Uh, we'll have Kipchoge on here. And then we have two uh, of the best marathoners in the US. Mance and Clayton Young. I saw them run at the US Trials here in Orlando. That was pretty cool. And at one point I was standing by, one, I can't remember which of their two families because I was wearing their red or blue shirt and they thought I was part of the group rooting them. But uh, yeah, no, I just ran to downtown and saw it. It was kind of cool. But uh, yeah, we'll have Kenya for Kipchoge. Then we'll have over here, Olympic Marathon, Olympic Marathon. Put Chicago, which is on the big six or seven now. Uh, Sydney just became on a, a, one of the better marathons out there. And uh, so now it's transitioned from six to seven. And we'll have Boston Marathon, which is the most famous in America. Probably the world, I would assume, too. So we have Boston Marathon, 
And uh, I actually made a mistake. We need to put marathon runners in here. So let me go back up over here and rerun this like two seconds. And we'll grab marathon runners. We'll just pass in over here and we call this marathon runners DF. These guys are fast, man. I can't imagine running at that pace for marathon distance. Well, marathon runners DF head. And we see Kipchoge, Man Siong in their country as well as a major race. So let's go through our first example, which is concatenating these rows. Now, how I think of this is like a SQL union. So, and when I think of a union, right, you stack your two different tables on top of each other for some type of output. Use it occasionally at work. So there is use cases for this, at least on the Python pandas side of things. I have used it pandas as well. So what we're gonna do is example one. And literally, this is really easy, in fact. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have df run combined. So our run combined, and you're gonna say equals pd.concat. And then what we're gonna do is pass in our list. Now, here's the important part. If you want data at the very top, put this in first, right? So I want the ultra runners at the top. So we're just gonna put ultra on here. Then we wanna have our marathon runners. So we put our marathon runners second. And that's it, right? So we run that and then let's take a look at DF run combined. I'm just gonna put a head of 10 in over here. Um, that way it just makes it easy. Obviously we don't have 10 records, but one thing you will notice on this data frame, I'll take a second to see if you guys notice it, but the index, right? So this keeps the original index of our data frames that we created a little bit earlier. So 0, 1, 2, and then 0, 1, 2. And that can be a little bit annoying. So what I wanna do with this kind of like second example is reset our index. So we'll say example to reset index. And what we'll do is df combined reset equals df run df run combined dot reset index drop equals true, right? And you can go over here and take a look at this. We'll do a head of 10. And what I'll also do on here, you can you can see this has been fixed zero through five now. And what we can do now also is do iLock, which uh, will be a video on the channel soon. So let's say we wanna just test this for a few cases. Let's say we wanna grab Kipchoge, which should be iLock at three, right? And you can see Kipchoge populates over here. And yeah, so, Let's do one more. We'll do I lock a zero and check that out. Awesome. So we know that is working now. And what I want to show you guys next is using keys. Now, what keys allows us to do is essentially label the original data frames that we use to concatenate into our new data frame. And you'll see this um, in this next example. So we'll say over here, example three, which is keys. And let's jump right into it. So We'll say df combined keys equals, and what we're gonna do is actually go back up above, right, and copy this code because it's it's gonna be very similar. And uh, I think you have the equal sign. So pd concat, we still have our ultra runners, we have our marathon runners, and now we want to add in a new parameter. So we'll have the parameter over here of keys. We're gonna say this equals to, and then ultra marathon. And then what I'll do next is marathon, right? You can label these how you want. I just recommend labeling them as closely as possible to your original data, fr data frames. So and if combined keys, right? List of our data frames that we want to concatenate and the keys to separate those out. And what you'll see on this side of things, if we go over here to a head, so we'll say head of 10 is now we have ultra marathon, right? With our ultra marathoners and we have marathon with our marathoners. And what you'll see too is these index, right? So zero through two and then zero through two once again. So what we can do is use lock on the side of things. So we'll just go over here and we'll say dot lock and then pass in one of these that you want. Let's say you want to look at the ultra marathoners, right? So you just pass an ultra marathon and there should be no K there, it should just be lock. You can see we have that. And uh, if you wanna do the marathon runners, right? Just remove ultra, pass that in over there. And yeah, so lock, boom, there we go.
So that is kind of the first way that you could stack, right? We're just stacking on these rows across over here. So we have one data frame on this side of things. We have our second data frame here. We literally just stacked on top of each other. First data frame, your second data frame. You have the option to add in keys if you want to build this out. You could also reset your index to fix your index, right? Zero through five on this side of things. Okay. Let me show you the other use case on this, which is adding in an additional column. And where this could be helpful for, and we'll say example for concat columns. And first we'll have to build out another data frame. So we'll say running wins. And I'm just gonna put some fictitious data in here over here. I actually don't know how many wins each of these runners have. It would take me some time to grab that data. So what we do is just spam my keyboard with different numbers. Done. All right, three, two, three, four, five, three. Again, all fictitious. This is not correct. Uh, their true running wins are going to be way greater than that. This is just for a mock video, right? This isn't a project on the ultra marathons or marathons. So what we're going to do is create a data frame. So we'll say running wins df equals pd dot data frame, and then just pass in uh, running wins over here. And again, what we'll do is just show you this really quick as a head of 10, just so you guys know that it's working. And great, we have that. We have index zero through five. We have these wins over here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stack this column and we're gonna add that to this over here where we reset the index zero through five. So we just wanna have a new column over here. And this might sound a little bit confusing at first, right? Because if you are familiar with merge, and I showed this in my last video, I don't know where merge is gonna be in this uh, series. I assume it's gonna be before this, but anyways, merge allows you to add in additional columns as well. Well, here's the difference between concat and merge, right? So merge, you have to, in most cases, right? Except for the cross join, you have to merge on specific columns. So if, let's say for example, you had this data frame over here, name, country, and major race, right? If this one over here had name as another column, you could merge on the names. Well, the problem is we don't have that, right? We just have wins and we have to assume each of these wins based off of this index value is linked to uh, this right over here, right? So we assume Killian Jornet has, what do we have first? Three wins and our second spot, right? We have two wins. We have to assume that Courtney Dolwater has two wins. And then our next index, right, our index of two, Jim Walmsley, right? We go down over here. Well, we're going to assume that he has three wins, right? So we don't have a column to merge these two data frames on. And because of that, right, we're going to be using concat in this use case. Um, the only time that you're going to use some sort of merge or a, a join that does not specifically identify how you want to merge it on is going to be your cross join or cross merge. And um, that's just a really bizarre use case. And there are some uses for it. If you want to watch that video, check it out. But um, how we're using concat right here, this is the reason why, right? We don't have the athlete's name. We know that these are linked to each of these athletes and we want to add in an additional column. So let's go through that right now. Again, this is gonna be pretty easy. We're just gonna add in an additional parameter. So what I'm gonna do over here is say df combined columns equals pd.concat, concat. Then we'll have our list once again. So we'll say df combined reset. And then what we'll do is our running ones df, which is right here. So we'll have that passed in. And now the option, the other parameter, which has been optional so far, because we're just concatenating on these rows and expanding out with additional rows. Since we're adding a new column, we have to say axis equals one, right? So axis equals zero, we're just adding rows below. Axis equals one means we're gonna add an additional column. So that's new on the set of things. Uh, we'll run this over here. And then what I'll do lastly is over here and say head of 10. And just to show you that this has been added, right? We have wins three, two, three, four, five, three. Again, this is assumed based around this index value, right? So when you add in an additional column based off of concat, it's gonna essentially concatenate these on that index value. So make sure that is correct. Otherwise you're gonna have bad data. And as someone in data analytics, data science, you absolutely hate 
bad data, because it can cause issues. So again, make sure the index is correctly aligned when you are going to concat and add an additional column. Just as when you're adding in concatenate with rows, you want to make sure that each of these are lined up, right? You want to make sure when we add it in these marathon runners, we have a name, country, major race. Otherwise, we're going to have all these messed up. You don't want to have that. So make sure that the data matches how you want to concatenate, whether you want to add in additional rows or if you want to add in an additional column. But yeah, that's essentially it, right? PD.concat, first data frame, second data frame. You want to add in keys, put in your keys over here, right? And that just separates it out like this. And lastly, if you want to just add in a column, use axis equals one. And that is the video. Well, I appreciate you guys watching the Concat video. And if you learned something new or it cleared up any confusion that you had with this, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We're uploading in here from two to three different videos every single week, currently focused around data science. And if you want to learn even more, a few links down below in the description, I'll post a few videos that I think you guys would enjoy as well as our free discord server and mentorships. If you need any help on the technical side of things or also landing at jobs, if you want to continue this Python pandas playlist. Well, there is a link right over here to the playlist and I'll see you in other videos.